بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Hello guys, welcome to a new video. In this video I'm going to show you how to produce the sound R in English. The letter R is difficult for many English learners. I will try to provide a good explanation with many examples to help you practice pronouncing the letter R. It's important and it's very necessary to know the parts of the mouth involved in producing the sound R. There are three major parts of the mouth that have to constrict and work together to probably produce an R sound. And these include, first, so when we talk about the production of the sound R, we have to bear in mind three parts of the mouth that they are responsible for producing the R sound. The first part is the lips. To understand how the lips function when saying the R sound, ask someone who can pronounce it properly to say the word rabbit. What does their mouth do when they say the R part of the word? If they are forming it correctly, their mouth makes a small circle. Rabbit. Rabbit. The rounded lips are the first component of a proper R pronunciation. The second part is the tongue. If you are unable to make the R sound, you may have no idea what a tongue should be doing while properly pronouncing the R. In fact, the tongue makes a small mound or hump in the mouth and sound waves travel over the mound to properly execute a sound. If you look here, this is the roof of my mouth and this is the tongue. So here the tongue makes a pound or make a hump here like this. Like this. You see? This is the pound or the hump in the mouth. And the sound waves travel over the mound to properly execute the sound. And the pharynx, the pharynx is another word for the throat. And the part of the pharynx that is associated with the R sound is at the very top of the throat in order to make the R sound. The pharynx has to constrict or tighten. So, if you would like to make the sound correctly, and to successfully make the R sound, curl the tongue upward. Take the, this is the tip of your tongue, curl the tongue upward without touching the top of portion of the mouth. Without, no touching, no touching. Curl the tongue upward without touching the top portion of the mouth. You should also curl the sides, the sides. This is my tongue and these are the sides of my tongue. So the sides of the tongue should curl upward. So it's very close to the upper molars. In this position, make a roaring sound like a lion. Rrr, rrr forcing the air out of the nose and mouth at the same time. If you are confused about how you should position the tongue, try to make the shape of a bowl with your tongue, a bowl like this. You see, like this, like a bowl. The sides should touch the top, but the tip of the tongue should not touch the top part of the mouth and if you look carefully at the picture on the screen, you can see that this is the curl, 
the tongue curl upwards. So the tongue need to be tight and up and back. Again, tight, up and back. So let me put all these explanations into steps. The first one, step number one, let the throat vibrate since it is voiced. R is a voice sound. The two chords are vibrating when you are producing the sound R. Round the lip a little, your lips a little. Raise the tip of the tongue towards the hard bump behind the upper front teeth, but don't let the tip of tongue touch the bump. This also makes the center of the tongue go down. Number four, the back part of the tongue is raised because you pull it into a tight bowl. Number five, fold and raise the sides of the tongue so they touch the upper side teeth. Let me give you some examples. Here are some words and sentences to help you hear what they should sound like. He got a speeding ticket for racing, racing. The road, road, home is usually long and lonely. The dog was growling, growling at the cat. She hurt her, hurt her leg so he had to carry her home. You did a very good job, very, very good job. If the zebra doesn't run any faster, the lion will catch up. So these are some examples to give you some explanations for the right and the proper production of the sound R. Uh, thank you so much for watching and this is the end of our video. And if you like it, give me a thumb. And if you would like to leave a comment, please don't hesitate. Just write down in the comment box. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Take care. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.